Hi. So here I'm going to show you the performance and operation of the Allied Motion model using field weakening. And uh, as you know, this model is rated for 30 volts. So now I'm going to um, putting it at 30 volts. My supply is at 30 volt, and I'm in motion terminal. I'm using the our latest product, which is called Solo Pro. This product is uh, capable of uh, delivering up to 80 amps and up to 60 volts roughly 3.6 kilowatt of power so i'm using this product here in motion terminal i'm just putting the current limit at 60 amps so it's more than what the motor can uh, let's say reach and i'm in torque mode i'm just going to show you the speed of the motor in normal conditions and then without any field weakening and then i'm going to do the field weakening so now i'm going to put the motor in no load condition the speed of the motor, as you can see here, is 1,700 and fluctuating between 1,720 to 40 RPM. Okay, so now there is no field weakening, there is no, let's say, fancy action. I'm just using the normal motor. Now I'm going to increase this, let's say, the, I'm going to reduce the field and uh, let's see how much the speed rises. So I'm slowly weakening the field a little bit more so for example now my speed is around 1870 rpm i'm gonna go further now i'm at 1900 rpm i'm gonna go further now i'm at roughly 2000 rpm I'm gonna go further than this. I'm around 2050 RPM. More. I'm around 2100 RPM. And eventually I'm kind of reaching to 1250. I can increase it. So this is the maximum speed I'm reaching, which is 2200 RPM. So this is considering the fact that now I'm having field weakening I'm gonna remove the field weakening so the motor goes back to its let's say 1700 rpm and then I'm gonna stop the motor now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the voltage of the supply at 12 volt and see what happens so basically we saw almost 30% of the increase in the speed of the motor